man experiencing homelessness is opening up about the city's new homeless encampment ban. He says this new law will endanger him. KIMT News 3's Brandon Coat has been following this story from the beginning and he has more for us tonight. Corey Jacobs started living in his car seven years ago. He tells me he's unable to live in shelters here like the Rochester Community Warming Center due to a disability. He says the recent passing of the ban on homeless encampments is detrimental to him and others experiencing homelessness. I'm terrified for my life. I'm actually, because of my life experience, I know as a fact I will die as a consequence over this ordinance. Jacob says his hearing impairment, along with a combination of other disabilities, leaves him with no shelter to accommodate his living requirements. I live in my van as a necessity because I'm unable to find housing that will actually meet my needs. He says others like him with disabilities who are staying out of trouble are bearing the brunt of the new rules. Under this ordinance, no one is allowed to camp on any city property. The enforcement going after vehicles, cooking equipment, bedding, and um, like you, tent. They, they focus on the wrong things in order to enforce the ordinance. Anyone who violates the ordinance can face up to 90 days in jail and a thousand dollar fine. The harm is too great and I'm not actually contributing to the things of why they want these tools in the first place. He says he relies on social security disability insurance to survive. I told the city I can't comply. I don't have a way to legally comply. Jacob says his payments would be taken away if he were to be arrested for something he's been doing for years peacefully sleeping in his van at parks. For some of us, it's outside factors that are outside of our control and we're essentially being punished because of the conduct of others towards us. Jacob says he is wanting the city to re-examine the camping ban ordinance to be more inclusive of him and others living with disabilities. In Rochester, Brandon Coat, KIMT News 3. And we did reach out to the city council about Jacob's living situation. Council member Sean Palmer tells us the city, county, and himself personally tried several times to offer Jacob housing. Palmer says Jacob rejected the help because he told him he needs to own a house by himself to ensure his disability accommodations are met.